Okay, so first off, I want to let you guys know that we did make a shirt. Um, it's right here. It looks like this. It says, that's so speedy on it, right on the front. It's the only shirt we got right now. Just has the little boosted boys on the back. So, we made this shirt last night. Uh, just kind of threw it together and we're like, eh, it looks kind of cool. So, we just put it up there just to see if anyone does want to buy it. So... So the reason we made this shirt is mainly to fund any projects we may have in the future. For instance, the Odyssey, we are for sure going to boost it, that is confirmed. So we're going to do some sort of build with the Odyssey and then this can just help with anything in the future like that. We're just kind of doing it to see if anyone's actually interested in buying these shirts. And I know a couple of you guys were saying in the comments to start a GoFundMe, but the thing about a GoFundMe is... It's so like that would be nice and that would probably help for the people that don't want to donate as much but like you know a couple dollars here and there but the thing about a GoFundMe is I just feel like you're not really working for the money at all at least with this shirt we're providing something so I don't feel as bad for taking money so it's just I don't know I really don't want to start a GoFundMe unless we were in desperate need of money and we don't need it we're just trying to get more content for you guys so we just have this one shirt it could be better it's our first one i don't know anything about shirts really about selling them or anything like that we went through teespring.com so this is our first one maybe let me know what you think if you guys have maybe some other ideas to get money or for different product designs or shirts or something like that message us on instagram at boosted boys and maybe we can get in touch so we're just trying to raise some extra money Mainly to get the van done right now. We really want to get started on the van because that should be pretty fun if we actually get that going. But just thought I'd let you guys know. So if you do want to check out this shirt, the link will be in the description. So if you do want to pick up a shirt, that should help us out. And we're going to keep trying to make videos for you guys. But the thing is with all these car builds, you need, you need the money to do them. So yeah, thank you guys. All right, we got a shopping cart. New form of transportation right here. Probably one day gonna make this into a go-kart. Go, we should go pick up people with like Ubers. <laughs> There's your new Uber driver right here. Use you to stop. <coughs> oh shit. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. It's too much. We're at my parents' house right now. I left a few things over here, and we're just coming to pick them up. The main thing is we want to get this shopping cart go kind of made a while back and bring it home. It's kind of clapped now, but it'll be good. Should probably bring these tire tires too for the wagon. Oh, and my go pad.
Look, you can see, look right here. Look at the side of the motor and all the wood, because I did a burnout with it. <laughs> this thing run? Yep. Yeah. Uh, the, the spindle is just loose, but it, it runs. And the throttle gets stuck wide open sometimes, so it's kind of scary. <laughs> I missed that one too. Yeah. Ah. Most front tires though. It's all rusty. Has been used in like two years. <laughs> Ever since we killed them. It has shadow forks on it. I'm pretty. Those are. Those are great cool parts. I was just borrowing them. I think. I'm not even joking. Is that puppy? <laughs> Deaf and blind, or just blind? Oh, she still hates me. <laughs> Just blind. <laughs> She's grumpy. In the face. <laughs> oh, over at my parents, just loaded up some old toys we want to bring back. Got the shopping cart, go kart. A little 49cc motor on it. Hasn't been running a while. Got a drift track back there, go ped. Gonna get some other things and we'll head back to our place. We also need this Barbie Jeep. Could be useful for the wheels and tires. I was gonna put a motor in this a long time ago, but I never got to it. I found this thing on the side of the road for free. Mm. They were gonna dump it, and I was like, I'll take it. Bye, buddy. What do you need it? What are you doing with it? You'll see. Look at I, you, got a haircut. I can't, I can't call you a bitch ass no more because everybody was all mad about it. They're like, he's a bully. He's a tough guy. <laughs> it's okay, I, I bullied you on the streets. Yeah. They're all like, like one guy, did you see the comment that I commented back on? He's no. Like, he's like, you better pull him aside and tell him that he can't do it to you anymore because he's going he's gonna to make you look like a bitch in front of some girls or your friend. I don't I give a like, fuck. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, he calls me a bitch ass right back, just not on camera. So Why are you dressed all nice? You're not working today? No, I am. I've just been driving around all day. Can I put this on there? Or is no one supposed to know about this? No, oh, yeah, everybody can know about this one. I'm doing it. I'm going to do a video too on it. But yeah. I don't know when I'll actually do it because I'm lazy. Dude, this turbo's fucking all big. So we have an 800 horsepower plus Z06 that had a pro charger on it. We got a single turbo Terminator Cobra that should make easily eight to 900 horsepower, if not more, with like a badass- Can they know about this one too? Yeah, that's fine. And then this one is another 70 some odd millimeter turbo with a fully built motor and a sick ass cam in it that should easily make a thousand horsepower also. So we have- Got almost 3000 horsepower. Yeah, we got, we got straight muscle in the shop. Dude, I'm gonna get these same wheels for uh, the MR2. Dude, the, they're, the weld they're, wheels? they're fucking sick, dude. That's like a 315 on the back of that Z06. Dude, look at all the rocks. No, those aren't even rocks. Those are like uh, those weird little like oh, uh, those stickers things. Yeah, but oh yeah. <laughs> you, did you get that mount? You got it mount, right? Yeah, it's right here. Right. Here lies the CRX. Oil pump took a shit on it. No more motor. The CRX is dead. So sad. Not sure what he's gonna be doing next. I don't think he's gonna try to save this thing. I'm not sure though. But it's all apart right now. The crank and rods and bearings were all fucked. So he picked up this shell not too long ago. He was gonna swap everything into here before it blew up. This one's already gutted and super light EG shell. So not sure what he's gonna do with his next project 
but I guess we'll see. I just needed to head over here real quick to grab that GoPro mount from him because I need it for some stuff. But yeah, kind of sad this. Sad to see that the CRX is done. I got this. Watch out. <laughs> All right. Dude, I get I could get this started if I had some two-stroke gas. <laughs> Why'd you break it? <laughs> you fucking destroyed it. Rest in peace. Oh my god. Oh, it's trash now. The wheels are still good. Just hook a 12 volt to this. We were gonna drag it behind the pit bike. Now I'm just gonna rip the front end off now. Oh, I can use those motors. Fuck you. <laughs> Thing is a pile. It's all rusted out. Got a great kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the last one in the alley. <laughs> Premium starter fluid. Yep. You did. Good. Dude, fuck, I'll just run on straight gas. It won't hurt it. It's already a piece of shit. So we've been trying to start it. We can't get it to start. Something's up with the fuel. We got it to run off butane, which I didn't know you could do that, but I guess you can. But it's not getting gas or something. But I'm not worried about it. This motor's pretty shitty anyway, so I'm probably just gonna trash it. Uh, I do plan on putting like a pit bike motor in here or something, making it a lot more powerful. Cause I'm pretty sure this motor only has like two horsepower and it lost a lot of that cause I don't have the right exhaust pipe on it and shit. But It'd be sick if we could fit like a 125 in here with a four speed and then keep like the PVC tires on the back and like drift it. But I made this thing in my welding class like three years ago, I think. So I made all this stuff up here. It's all rusted out now, but all the steering stuff, all these brackets. But it's kind of a piece of shit. So I liked the idea. So I want to restart from scratch probably completely take it all apart again and make it badass and then we got this one over here this Home Depot shopping cart that Mitch's brother got from I don't know where and just dropped it off so now I have two shopping carts so maybe we could make two of them that'd be sick do tandem tandem shopping cart drifts yeah I'll bring my cart down too so we got three of them your cart? my go-kart oh your go-kart yeah yeah, I think a pit bike motor would fit on these, honestly, though. I was just looking at it. You just have to mount it weird. I want to try to keep it all as tucked, tucked in as I can. I don't want this extended back any more than it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, when you dump it in first. What? When you dump it. Dude, I bet it would. Yeah. We get some, like, actual go-kart tires on it. Mm -hmm. But it'd pop, it'd probably pop a wheelie. <laughs> 
put little wheelie bars on them. We'll like, we should make like little mini shoots and everything, like drag race them. <laughs> put like a little roll cage around it, around the driver, like right here. So that's really all for today. Didn't really work on the cars today. Took a break from all that. Uh, we're probably fixing to go to the junkyard sometime this weekend. I'm thinking to get a set of gears for the hatch and get that back together. I mean, I can still drive it around how it is right now, but need some new synchros. Just might as well get a whole new gear set because we're cheap and I can probably get that for a couple bucks. Just got to pull the training back out again, which sucks. But once I get a new gear set in there, the training should last another few months as long as I'm not too hard on it. So we'll see. But yeah, took a break from the cars today. Mainly just wanted to go pick this up today because I haven't seen this thing in a long time. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.